I'm Sarah. I run Crafty So and So with my business partner Freya. She introduced herself to you last week and also introduced our brand new range, My Handmade Wardrobe Patterns. I'll tell you a little bit more about one of the patterns that we've designed today, but I just wanted to catch up with a bit of news. We had our launch party a couple of weeks ago to launch the pattern range. We invited our fantastic pattern review team. They travelled from near and far and really made the event spectacular, showing off their creations from our patterns. It was really fantastic to see how inventive and creative the team could be and they'll be sharing lots more on our My Handmade Wardrobe blog over the next few months. Becca from Red W Sewed debuted her gorgeous sparkly version of the cosy jersey dress and we absolutely love it. Her review is up on our blog this week so do make sure you go and check that out. The launch party was a fantastic event and it was so inspiring to see how different people had made our patterns already but most importantly, I must thank all the Kickstarter supporters that bought tickets to the launch party and also supported us by buying our patterns and supporting us through lots of different ways through our Kickstarter campaign. Without you guys, there's no way we would have been able to bring out these patterns and bring them out to the quality that we have. I'm so proud of what we've managed to achieve and without you, it would not have happened. So thank you very much to all of our Kickstarter supporters. The patterns are all now available as printed patterns or PDF downloads on our website craftysoandso.com so do make sure you go and check that out too. We're really happy with how the patterns are selling and we've had loads of downloads from all over the place, Canada, America and quite a few from England too. We did have a little problem with our first PDF download which we released back in November it was a pattern for a simple tea which has been hugely popular and has had over 200 downloads now and we're really really happy with the success of it but unfortunately as I said we did make a little mistake and we got the size of the checkbox wrong. That's now all been fixed so if you did download the pattern before the end of January please go back and re-download that and then you'll be, be able to make your perfect simple tea. And make sure if you do make our simple tea that you share it with us. We'd love to see your makes and if you make any of our other patterns as well make sure you share them with hashtag MHW patterns and then you'll find in the back of the booklet uh, a couple of hashtags that you can share as well which will just help us to um, find you basically and, uh, and celebrate all your creativity. So that's about it from me in terms of news. I'm going to go on to tell you a little bit about one of my favourite patterns and our most popular pattern by far, so far. Um, that's the cosy jersey tunic and dress. And there's a version of it on the stand back here, which is probably the most smartest version. Um, this is made in cotton elastane jersey. And as you can see, it has a little waist tie to just clinch in the waist and give you that beautiful hourglass silhouette. I really love how simple this dress is and it comes together in about three hours, maybe less if you've made it before. And the panelling is quite interesting. A lot of people have commented on how they like the fact that it doesn't have side seams and this again creates that nipped in silhouette um, while still keeping it super cosy. Um, I designed this dress to be the perfect um, garment to take you from a day at work through to drinks in the evening or dinner um, to just relaxing on the sofa when you get back at the end of a long night. It can also be dressed down and worn in a tunic form and that is um, a great way to uh, use the pattern with other fabrics like sweatshirt fabric, fleece, terry um, and ponte roma. You can find out a bit more about what fabrics are ideal to make this dress on our blog and the post for that will be coming out in a couple of days time. Our blog has loads and loads of information and inspiration for you to keep you creating and designing because we've designed these patterns to be made time and time again and to be your ultimate wardrobe staples. So I've made the cosy jersey tunic in this fab cat print sweatshirt 
fabric which we had in the shop for a little while and it just flew out unfortunately we can't get hold of any more because we've had so many requests for it we'd love to but it's just not available but we will be looking out for more fun prints like this that can be made into the cozy jersey tunic or dress um, i'll just jump up and show you the uh, tunic and a few of the details so the cozy jersey tunic is a really fab casual style that can be worn over the top of jeans as I'm wearing it today or even paired with our action pack leggings for a really nice casual look. I designed the neckline with this v-shaped neckline to be flattering and still covering. I hate it when jumpers start falling off your shoulders so I wanted it to be quite tight at the neck here but still have a nice v-scoop neckline. It also means that we can show off our makes underneath and this is a simple tee from our free download pattern. I made the cuffs in this fab quilted jersey, which is also from the Crafty So and So shop. And I also put the pockets on in that fabric as well, and the hemband. I particularly like the hemband because I like to have a bit of bum cover for warmth, and this comes down and just scoops underneath the bum, just to keep everything nice and cozy. And the pockets are inset into the side seam. As you can see, as, as I was talking about, there's no um, side seam, so it comes into the side panel, sorry. And um, the pockets just go in there. And they've got plenty of room at the top so that you can fit your hands in and be nice and snug or pop a few things in. Um, I tend to find I, I have quite a few things in my, in my pockets as the day goes on. Um, so they're great for kind of portable storage as you're, as you're working or going around the house. So yeah, that's the um, cosy jersey tunic, uh, the way that I've made it, and I'll show you next how I plan to make it next time. So I plan to make loads of the cosy jersey dress. It's going to be a proper wardrobe staple for me, especially seen as we live in a slightly colder climate. But I do think this, this will be a great dress to wear in the summer as well, in a lighter weight jersey. So I'm planning to make it in this gorgeous fleece-backed sweat fabric, which we've had in the shop for a little while, probably since about December, but I've been a bit too busy, unfortunately, to actually make anything out of it yet. But I absolutely love it. It's so soft. It's probably one of the softest fabrics that I've ever felt. And I think that's because of the cotton polyester composition. It also has this gorgeous fleece back, which I'll just show you here. Um, this is after it's gone through the wash and it's still retained a lot of that lovely, thick, sumptuous pile. Um, and you can see if I just hold it sideways, you can see a little bit of the thickness of that fabric. So yeah, it's a really lovely snuggly um, fabric. And I've actually just been using it as a blanket whilst I've been sewing for the last month or so. So finally popped it in the wash and I'm going to be making a cosy jersey tunic out of that. I'm going to be using this for the main um, garment and also for the pockets as well. And then I've got a nice cotton rib, which is this, which isn't an exact match, but I do think it's quite a good match. Um, and that's just going to be for the cuffs and the um, hemband. So that's going to be a nice cosy make whilst it's still quite chilly. It did snow this week, so yeah, it's definitely still cosy jersey weather. <laughs> the next one I'm going to make is another version of the one that's on the stand with the waist ties at the front. And I'm making that out of a lovely viscose um, elastane jersey. And uh, I'll just pop a little picture of that up here so you can see what I'm, um, what I'm making it out of. But yeah, I think that's going to be a really nice one to take me through spring, maybe even into summer. I can definitely see myself wearing this with a cardi over the top for spring and then just on its own um, as a nice, light, um, easy to wear dress. For those days when I want to look a little bit smarter but still be super cosy. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed watching our vlog please do subscribe and we'll be sharing lots more about my handmade wardrobe patterns and lots of news from Crafty So and So too. You can also find out lots more about how to hack the patterns, new ideas, techniques and how to make the most out of our My Handmade Wardrobe patterns over at myhandmadewardrobepatterns.com slash blog. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.